Want to kickstart your foot 22 team off with a bang? Head over to moolfactory.com for the cheapest, most safe, and reliable coins and use the code NERDFIRE at the checkout for 5% off your order and get yourself some foot coins to boost your team right now. All right, people, we are back today with another video, the second video of the day, because obviously earlier, if you didn't see, we opened up a load of the 85 plus times 10 packs. But today, I wanted to try something different, something we actually haven't done on this channel, and we're actually today doing a card review. I, I genuinely think maybe like two, three years ago, I did some of these, but now I decided since this card has come out that you've probably already seen, actually, you definitely already know what card it is. Literally, it's in the thumbnail and the title. And that is literally what you clicked on the video for. Today, we are going to be trying out Winter Wildcard. Zlatan Ibrahimovic. Don't ask me why he's a CDM, by the way. That is literally how I bought him. But the main thing is we've got and We can switch him to a striker. Obviously, that is what we're going to do. So first things first, we're going to take a look at the card. That is what we want to do first. Just absolutely look at this god piece of card. I don't know what I'm trying to say. It just looks insane. So yeah, let's switch over to FIFA. Let's go check out the card and let's see what we think. So before we compare the cards, first things first, let's actually take a look at the face card stats. We're looking at 90 pace, 89 dribbling, 92 shooting, 41 defending, 88 passing and 89 physical. Five star skill moves as well, four star weak for high low work rates, which is absolutely perfect for a striker. So already looking at the high low work rates, that's perfect. The five star, four star and the stats. Some of the standout stats. Let's go with the top three on card stats that I do like the most. It's going to be the pace. The 90 pace for a six foot five striker is disgusting. 92 shooting, he should basically be be finishing everything and you probably would think i'd go with the 89 dribbling but the 88 passing to have a striker that can pass if you play especially a two striker formation i think it's going to be absolutely incredible 88 passing for a striker is literally ridiculous like if you use the likes of mbappe ronaldo their passing is woeful on this game so he should have some very very good link up play here hopefully fingers crossed it should work out and also i do want to point out the five star skills we're gonna definitely have a bit of fun with that a hundred percent so now let's actually take a look at the actual attributes all the stats that go into the actual overall on card stats so so here's the attributes 89 acceleration 91 sprint speed very very nice in terms of pace wise like good acceleration is key i think especially for like tall strikers as well like if they can't get off the mark quickly i think you're gonna struggle a bit that is shooting stats 94 attacking position 91 finishing 93 shot power 93 long shots 93 volleys and 86 penalties oh my days like honestly these stats are disgusting in terms of shooting the fact he's got 93 long shots we definitely got to pop some long shots off as well then also he's passing 88 like i said that is incredible 95 vision that is very very good 82 crossing not that we want to be crossing with ebra he's literally the person we want to be crossing to 85 free kick accuracy which is good 90 short pass 85 long pass as well and 90 curve curve is always nice to see especially for the finesse shots which are fairly decent this year i'd say on to now the dribbling uh 88 agility 84 balance which is good for a six foot five striker 91 reactions 93 ball control 87 dribbling and 97 composure that is a big stat 97 composure is ridiculous he pretty much should be putting everything away inside the box. If he doesn't, I'm going to be pretty disappointed. On to the defenders stats, the ones that don't obviously matter at all because he's literally a striker. Bar the heading accuracy, which is sitting at a whopping 99. Crosses will be whipped in. We might actually have to bring Beckham into uh, the team here just to, you know, whip the crosses in. However, I have got Figo, who's also very good at crossing as well. And then on to the final batch of stats. We've got the physicals. He's got 94 jumping. Obviously, very, very, very good for heading. He's already at six foot five. To have 94 jumping is incredible. 85 stamina, very, very good as well. Should last pretty much 90 minutes, definitely. 91 strength, very strong, which we like to see and also 90 aggression so some key stats let's go for a top three attribute stats as well the three that i like the most 89 acceleration because i do like that the fact that he can get quick off the mark as a tall striker 97 composure because everyone loves a bit of composure if he's got that composure he should be scoring literally anything inside the box and then i'm actually going to also go 95 vision because like i said it's nice to have a striker up top especially if you play two strikers like i usually do that can actually pass and create opportunities for the other strikers instead of it just be the left mid the right mid cam center mids you know that is nice to see all right final thing to check out is his player traits he's got injury prone which doesn't obviously matter on fifa unless you're playing like squad battles or friendlies leadership which i don't really know how much of an impact that makes also outside of the foot shot that's probably like the only one to take into account is the outside of the foot shot it's always a good one to have especially if you're running on their weak foot i mean he's got four star weak foot but if you're running on the weak foot and to put it into the top left let's say as he's right footed would be nice to do and obviously the cpu one we don't actually care about okay so we have checked out his card now it's time to get him into a team and into my team you know 
I'm going to show you around the team that he's going to be playing in that we're going to use in a game. We'll probably go into like a foot champs qualifier. So let's chuck him into the team, get him on full chem, hopefully, and see what we can do. Okay, here's the team we're going to be using him in. As you can see, in goal, Reese, we've got Mbappé right back. We've got Varane and Fernandez at centre backs. So we've got left back Hernandez. We've got him starting in the left centre mid, Mr. Ibra. Central centre mid is Javi. Right centre mid is Anso. Right wing is then Figo. Striker is Mbappé. And left wing is Janola. Obviously, we won't be playing that in game. Ibra will be striker. So let me quickly show you what we're going to be playing in game. So this is what we're playing in game. The back four are the same. We've got two DMs as Javi and so we've got left mid Janola, right mid Figo, left striker is Mbappe, and then right striker is Ibra. So a pretty solid team to play him in. He should link hopefully quite well with Mbappe. Like I said, the passing and the hold up play we can do with him hopefully should be key to play alongside Mbappe. It should work out well. So now it is time to actually get into a game with this Ibra card. Let's give him a go. Our first glance review with Ibra. Let's give him a go and let's see what he can do. All right, here we go. Opponents number one team. What? Is his team going to be? He's got a pretty good team. He's got Baby on there. He's got Ronaldo, Zaha. Some good players. I think Vieira in there as well. Let's see what we could do against him with Mr. Ibra. I've just realized I've left him as number five as well. Hopefully people don't, you know, hurt me too much about that. I do apologize. I should have changed his number. Here we go. Ibra's first touch for us. Get a bit of the five-star skills going. Okay. Yeah. Nice dribbling. Good pass. That we like that we like to see that. Figo's on the ball here. Can he feed it back to Ibra, maybe? He can. Ibra. Ibra. Oh, he's in the crossbar. The 97 composure. I thought he was going to put that away. Uh-oh. Oh my God, this guy's just scored against me. He just literally counterattacked from that chance. I'm done. All right, come on, Ibra. Attempt two. That was a bad touch from me. My bad. Oh, but he's absolutely done Zahara. What a free kick. Okay. All right. Well, we're 2 0 down. You know, it's fine. We don't care. It's all about Ibra. Long shot finesse. Oh, good save. Oh, what have I done there? Oh, my. I'm actually playing awful in this game. This is my first game on, okay? Please. Ibra, bang. Oh, that's a beauty. There we go. He's got his first goal. I've literally just been trying to feed Ibra here to try him out. The flip flap straight off the pass. Could have finished a cross goal. We like to see it. Zlatan. Here we go. He's got Marquinhos. One of the best defenders on him. Oh my God. He's absolutely done two of them there. The strength as well. The hold of Kante. Onto the finesse maybe. Oh, that is a beautiful goal. The strength there. The agility. The skills. And the finishing with the composure. That was a good goal. And he took on like three players there. That was brilliant. Into Ibra. Oh my God, a touch from Ibrahimovic there as well. On his left foot again. Oh my God, that is a hat trick. Mate, the touch. And like I said earlier, the acceleration, that is key. This guy's not quitting it. He's actually just quit a thrill. Ibra's just got a hat trick and he's quit on us when we are literally drawing. Anyways, though, first game, you know, first glance. I'm, I'm going to play a couple of games here. First game, first glance, a hat trick. Within what, like 10 minutes of in-game time, I think, pretty much as well. The agility was definitely key there. The acceleration, like I said, that final goal there before the guy quit, that was beautiful. Like I was pointing out earlier, very, very key in my opinion. The skills as well. I'm liking this card so far. Sadly, we didn't get to see out the game because the guy decided to quit. But let's get to another one and let's see what he can do there all right opponent number two's team he's got a couple of icons in there as well he's got the watford uh spc guy but out of silver kante let's see what we can do in this game i definitely want to try and hit a long shot if we can get the chance definitely in this game here we go mbappe can he feed in ibra he does ibra's through here maybe he's gonna take a around the agility there and the 97 composure and finishing gets us another goal that was beautiful again the agility and the acceleration are so good man i'm loving it latan what can we see here anything good did a bit of skills Oh my god, that's disgusting. What skill? The skill's here from Ibra. On the turn, maybe. Can we spin him? No, I'm trying to spin. I'm trying to spin and I can't hit the skill. Uh, okay, we still got the ball. It's fine. No, that's so bad of me. Zlatan. Here we go. Got a nice bit of running space, maybe here. The strength is brilliant. Can we get a FIFA 19 goal? No, we can't. I did the wrong skill. Here we go. Let's try it again. Oh my god. Over Kante. No way. That's a penalty. <laughs> we were so close to doing the replica FIFA 19 Ibra goal that everyone used to score. All right, let's see my usual tactic. Look to the right. Put it to the bottom left. Bang. Oh, he saved it. No, he's guessed me. Oh, poor defender from me. The guy's put it back to one. -all. I mean, I could have scored early. I should have scored my penalty. So, you know, should be 2-1. Uh-oh. Oh, my God. What a save. He's going to get to that, though. No way. Come on, Ibra. Let's carry this forward. He's got a bit of space to work with here. Can we make it count, though? Ball roll. We've done one. Kante's still there. We've got the... Oh, oh, he did the wrong skill, but it worked out. We did the Maradona to the finish, and Ibra gets us another goal. The pace is beautiful. I love it. Oh, my God. Ibra here. Ibra. Oh, my God. The dribbling is beautiful. Oh, the last-ditch block for Kimbembe is disgusting. Oh, he scored on me again. Oh, my God. My defending has been bad. I mean, I'm literally just trying to attack here. I can't lie. Go on, Mbappe. Feed Ibra. Okay, he doesn't knock it off here. I didn't know if Mbappe would make the pass. The Elastico. Oh, that's disgusting. That's got to be a red, right? Has he not been given a red card there? That is disgusting. Go on. Ibra. Again. The Elastico. Oh, my God. The Elastico is disgusting on Ibra. 
Oh, the dribbling. Oh, good block as well. All right, this guy's just wasting time now. <laughs> this guy is desperate for his foot champs game. So I, th I think that might be it for the EV review right now. If you guys do enjoy this and you want to see more reviews, though, let me know if you want to see like three games maybe played or maybe a few more. Let me know in the comments below. Anyways, back up to wrap this video up on the Ibrahimovic winter wild card. Three million coins he did cost. So you got to remember that is quite a lot. I mean, he's currently extinct on the PlayStation, but for good reason. I mean, it's a very, very good card. Key things that definitely stuck out for me were definitely the acceleration, like I pointed out in the attributes. Like his acceleration is very, very good especially for like i said for someone of his height and strength etc it's very good see that his acceleration is actually very good in game also his agility was so good as well like on the ball he could weave in and out of players like dribble around players very very easily skills as well were very silky with him he was very good with the skills there's certain players that are just good at skills in game like just like the card is designed to be good at skills and ebra is definitely one of them honestly i had so much fun using this card i don't think he'll stay at three mil especially on the playstation i don't think he will but we'll find out if he does i'll be surprised if he stays at three mil but it is definitely a top top tier card and i would recommend you guys getting him if you wanted to try him out because i had a lot a lot of fun with it but there we go that is the first review video we have done i think literally in ages or whatever maybe on this channel i don't i genuinely do not remember the last time i did a review video if you guys did enjoy it please smash the like button and let me know in the comments below if you would like to see more of these i really did enjoy recording this it was actually a load of fun something different like i said on the channel as well so, so if you guys did enjoy it and you'd like to see more of these regularly make sure you let me know in the comments below but yeah anyways guys thanks for watching Please like, comment, and subscribe if you did enjoy the video. And I hope to see you guys next time. Goodbye.